Hello friend, welcome back to Total Maintenance YouTube channel. You can see here with me 2005 Toyota Corolla S, which is equipped with the four-cylinder 1ZZ FE engine. In different video I showed you very common engine oil leak, which is caused by this hardened o-ring on this timing chain tensioner unit and in this video I invite you to watch me how I will replace that entire timing chain tensioner. You don't have to have a lift, you don't have to have that vehicle up in the air, it can definitely can be done from above you are just reaching behind the engine and replacing the tensioner. For you, that you can see it actually, I lifted it and hopefully you can see it step by step how it's done. So let's go and do it. So we are underneath the vehicle and I was trying to find a good angle for the camera so you actually can nicely see that tensioner and this is probably the best I can do. You and of course what I will start with is try to clean that area as much as possible. So when I will be installing new one, right, I will not introduce any dirt inside. It's really important. And obviously the next step after everything is clean I will bring my 10 millimeter socket with a small ratchet, right? The space is limited. There's a lot of accessories in your way, but it's doable. And I will start releasing these two nuts, right? One here, you saw the top one, and this is the bottom. I hope you can really nicely see it in that footage. These nuts, either of those nuts, are not very tight, so it's really relatively easy to break them loose. You can see the first one is already removed. The second nut was also removed, and that means I should be able to slide that tensioner away from the engine. But it should be basically nicely, easily coming off. Oh yeah, and now the pressure of it, right? The tension of the tensioner pushed it nicely out. So I will grab it, put it on my bench and we can look at them side by side. And it's a nice detail of that opening, right? You can see both those studs. And so let's go look at them on the bench, right? Right here. This is the brand new unit we were just looking at. And this is that old tensioner with the old gasket, right? So now if you want to reuse the old one, which is this one, and replace just the o-ring, you will obviously have to compress it, right? And engage this little hook, like you see on the brand new one, but this is, uh, Corolla has a lot of miles, so I'm not reusing it. I will just install the new one, and installment, it's basically the opposite what we just did, right? I will just pre-lubricate this with the engine oil so it's easier to push it in that opening and, and you don't need to worry to switching it incorrectly because it will fit there only one way so that's a basically foolproof design and because there's not much space right for the tools I'm going carefully, gradually. I want to, the tensioner go straight. I don't want to pull on only one side 
fast on only one nut. I'm going gradually with both of them in the same time, so it's perfectly seated. There's no way of pinching of that gasket, right? This takes time and it's worth to spend extra time on this. So just do it nice so you don't have any problems in the future. Now I have both nuts fastened nice and snug, right? The new tensioner is in the place. But please don't leave right now because the most important part of this replacement is coming right now. And what is most important? Well, we have to release that brand new tensioner which is in the engine already, right? This little hook is still holding it in the closed position. We need to release this and the tensioner can extend and start actually doing its work. How that is done? And that's very simple. You take your 19 millimeter socket and put it on the main crank bolt, right? I have here my ratchet and now it's coming. You need to turn the engine start to rotate it clockwise, right? So I'm standing here on the passenger side looking at the engine and it needs to start rotating clockwise. And you have to listen for the audible clicks. And when you will hear those, that means that little hook which is there holding it released. The tensioner is extending and it's actually starting doing its work. So I'll be quiet and you will listen carefully, right, for those clicks. This doesn't need to be here. I'm just making sure that 19 millimeter is seated perfectly, right, and let's go slowly start turning that engine. That was a click of the ratchet, not the tensioner. Did you hear that? That came from above there. And now I know I will keep going at least one whole turn. And I know the tensioner was released and it's starting working. And I know I will be safe with uh, starting the engine and everything will be perfectly in the place. And this actually should be enough. I don't hear any more clicking and I know the tensioner is doing its work. And the owners of 1ZZFE, which is right here, are done basically. I can go start up the engine, just confirm that everything is perfect. I'm done. Now here comes the technical note for the owners of 2ZZGE. That's the one which is developed with the Yamaha. You will be not able to remove that tensioner after removing these two nuts. There will be no space for you to drive it out completely because the way the serpentine belt assembly is slightly in the way, right? It's, it's a problem. So one more step it's needed for you if you do that job. You have to loosen the bolt, right? Remove the serpentine belt. You have to loosen the main that center bolt, which is super tight by the way, so be careful that you don't strip it. You have to loosen that bolt and move that serpentine belt tension approximately, let it move away from the engine block approximately 8 millimeters. That creates the space for this hydraulic tensioner to be slided out, removed, the new one goes in and again you put it all back. So that was just a note for the owners of the Toyota slash Yamaha engine. I hope you find this helpful and it answers your questions and doubt about this job, right? It's pretty uh, easy, I will say straightforward. It just takes time if you want to do it right and be careful. 
please make sure you are subscribed because I have way more about Toyotas coming your way soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, my friend.